welcome or welcome back beautiful souls to the channel today is the last moon video recording for 2023 insane 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 oh my gosh i can't believe it today we're going to be going over the cancer full moon that is happening on december 27th 2023 three days before the day of and three days after how it will affect you like i say it's not just a moon day it's a moon week so let me know if there's any cancers in the house where does it fall into your chart or if you know someone who's a cancer sign let me know that is close to you and today i'm going to be going over the numerology meeting the channel message for you and also the card reading so i cannot wait of course before we get into it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe put notification bells so you do not miss a video as i do these videos every single month and do a favor for me in the comments down below let me know what more would you love to see in the youtube channel for 2024 i really want to see how i can be of service to you guys in the gifts that i have and i just want to first say thank you for being here i don't know how long each and every single one of our members of the community have been here and if you want to share that you can but it honestly has been such an honor to guide you in these moon videos to guide you through videos to support you to hear the transformation that you have done and i'm just so beyond grateful so yeah i just wanted to take a moment and share that from my heart to yours and i hope you can feel it in this video so yeah other couple things my one-on-one -on -one rebirth program applications are open i'm putting a waiting list out so you can apply in my link tree down below two medicine retreats are open we have the activated goddess retreat as well as doo -doo 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 -doo, we have the ancestral retreat all in portugal the beautiful mountains and i cannot wait if you feel like you want to connect with your feminine and tapping into the the womb healing the womb and opening the heart stepping into the goddess that you are you are going to be shedding the woman that you are today and shifting into the feminine and the woman that you are that wants to be born within this lifetime ancestral retreat you are the ancestral karmic breaker you want to connect more with your ancestors you have strife in your family and this is going to be a life changing blessing for you and if this is any of retreats you feel called to go apply down below and dos no matter tu, tu, tu. we also have the beautiful divine dharma training retreat this is a space for souls that are just starting out their journey you just started out your journey you're just stepping into your awakening and you know hey i need to help this collective i want to use my gifts but i don't know where to start this is the program for you we're going to go over smudging we're going to go over what does what exactly is space holding you're going to spend a whole week with me doing and tapping into with medicines how to heal your shadow we're going to be talking about the chakras there's so much goodness in there and we're going to be doing a community so this beautiful 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 is going to be happening in canada and you can apply down below there are limited spots available and i cannot wait to connect with you so go down below start your application and i will see you in the divine dharma to start your journey oh my god i'm so excited okay let's get into this video because i could just talk all day appreciating you so what do you need to know about this cancer full moon the last one of 2023 december 27th 2023 three days before the day of and three days after the need for human 3d nurturing we just had the for some of us holidays i understand holidays aren't great for everyone some people have beautiful memories some people don't have the best memories at all around the holidays and some have in between Okay, so it can be a very triggering time for everyone. I don't assume people have happy holidays because for some people they don't, right? If you are celebrating it. And even if you aren't, you're feeling the energy collectively of those who are. So this is about nurturing your 3D body. This is, cancers tend to be the best, I find, mother's energy and nurturers and feminine just pouring out their love and this is what this beautiful grandmother moon is giving us it's giving us this grandmother love and it's saying hey how does your human want to be taken care of right now three days before the day of and three days after and really nurturing after the deep cosmic weeks we just had we had this sagittarius new moon that was like cosmic on overload okay the 12 12 portal it was huge so now this cancer full moon is like let's rest 
let's release full moons are about releasing but this is about there's a big portion of that releasing your from your 3d your human body what you have to let go and it's going to happen through the time of rest not actually doing things but resting in solitude so ground the downloads ask yourself how can i release what is blocking me in this full moon you can write this down to the new adventure of my soul is about to embark right so whatever needs to let go whenever that last exhale is this cancer full moon that's happening on december 27 2023 three days before the day of and three days after it's going to help you release that fully and we love that the next thing you need to know about this cancer full moon that's happening on december 27th 2023 three days before the day of and three days after is that mothers any mamas in the house any of them that are currently holding babies or maybe your baby has come to earth side and they're quite young your babies are going to be very active around this full moon okay so really look at the space where they're going to be active whether it's in your belly or on earth side and this is an opportunity for you to learn okay for those of us who aren't with babies but maybe around them same thing the second thing is our baby self is getting a little bit of a whoop, our inner child right so it's giving the nurturing that we need so really tuning into as a little child what was the nurturing that your human body needed right did it need touch from mom did it need love did it need you know think of the love languages words of affirmation physical touch gifts like what was your way of love that was not given and give yourself that during this full moon really that's what it is it's letting go of that resentment that i wasn't able to get what i needed from my mother I wasn't able to get what I needed from my grandmother. I wasn't able to get what I needed from the feminine. So whatever resentment you have around that, we are nurturing that with love. We are looking at it and seeing, man, maybe I do have resentment here. And I'm trying to say love and light and doing the affirmations. Like that's just bypassing. We don't do this here. For y'all that are first here, first times here, we don't do this here. It's all about being real and true. So it's talking about tapping into that energy of downloads and really coming back to parenting the self energetically right so how we do that is tuning into what your love language is i know there's a website i think it's lovelanguages.com i'm not sure you, you can look it up on google where you can actually do the test if you don't know what your love language is and start doing whenever you need to replenish yourself or ground yourself start giving yourself that love language so if it's like a gift for example how are you going to gift your human body gift yourself something right go on a date for a lunch you know have a time of solitude and you know just relax Put some sweats on and do a little spa day at home. Go get a massage. What are the things that you can gift yourself, right? Because like I said, it's all about tuning into those times of integration. How can I be of service to my physical body to integrate all that magic and all that up-leveling that I've been doing? The next thing you need to know about this cancer full moon that is happening on December 27th, 2023, three days before the day of and three days after coming back home to family, you will receive a lot of ancestral healing. I talked a bit about this in the Sagittarius new moon. I'm talking about it here as well, because it will show you that you are actually, your heart is more open to receive love. Now, for some of you, it may even show you some resentment and you have a choice there. Will I meet that resentment and continue to fill my heart with anger to whatever that family member wasn't able to give me? Because we got to remember that our ancestors also have their stories, right? So this isn't a pity party. It's just more of like they had things that they were also doing it. Some of them reacted at you. That's true. Some, but it is your responsibility to step into the space of love and to receive and to heal yourself right and part of healing yourself is doing that together which means are you letting the healing and the gifts and the work you've done this year show with your relations with your family i always say people who keep arm's length from family those are the people that need the healing the most because you're you can you can go to a plant medicine ceremony and you can go to your family's house and i can tell you they're both very spiritual and they're both going to be life-changing if you were to listen and I saw this in a video the other day. I'm going to say it again here that this channel is so funny. This channel message came in. If I were to listen to my mother or listen to my grandma or listen to my father and their life and their emotions that they experienced in the past, would I be able to see love and see and understand? Okay, now I understand why you reacted. Now I understand why you did what you did and you thought that you were being a great parent. You thought you were being a great sibling. You thought you were being a great uncle and aunt because it happened to you too. Right. And this was a, this experience, for example, if you've, you were had trauma or that trauma was given to you, it didn't start with you. 
It 100% didn't start with you. But it needs to start with you to see that moving forward. And you need to be willing to open your heart. You can love your family, but you don't have to like wholly what they're doing. And this is what this Cancer full moon's teaching you is like, it's okay not to like everything and like every single perspective, right? But you can do it with love. And this is a new lesson you're learning is clearing your resentment out of your heart. So your love of no, you're saying no, your love of not liking something is so passionate, so loving. Think of a mother that lovingly says no to their child, right? It's not in a scolding way. It's like a no, right? And the child just receives it. It's not what they want to hear, but they, there's a respect there. There's an eye contact there. There's an understanding of respect. And that's kind of where you need to go back to is like the respect is loving the being that comes to you that is to, in your life or family and also saying truth to your voice of not liking as well. That's okay. That's okay. So know the difference between love and like is going to really help you. I think I have a video on this with ancestral healing you can check out. So do this. This is really important. Do not hide the new version of you. This is another thing at home. When you go at home, there's so much that you've changed. Maybe there's certain habits you used to do back around this time. And now you don't do them because you've, you don't feel connected. There's no shadow that is feeding from this habit or perspective and or maybe you've just evolved honestly you just you've evolved you've found your own perspective your own voice so remember to notice how your new version of you feels how can i allow that new version of me to feel safe right and not abandon that version the moment i go home to the to go see family right or to go and see an old friend that i haven't seen in years right those people will always see you as the person you were when they first were introduced to you right because that's what is imprinted in them like i said humans don't like change but again it's our responsibility for them to evolve with you right if you're just evolving on your on yourself by yourself you're not doing the work when you can evolve with your family that's where we see that ripple and healing ancestrally when people ask me how do i do healing so i can help my family that's how you evolve together you express your boundaries, you express your needs, you express your yeses, you express your nose, your nose, your full body. And that's what's going to really allow you to see that healing. And it's also going to give them permission to step into the power of that on the other end, if they so choose to, of course. The next thing you need to know about this cancer full moon that's happening on December 27th, 2023, three days before the day of and three days after. This brings me back to what I mentioned, but I'm going to go a little bit deeper on this. You will be asked to let go of resentment. This cancer full moon is telling us to step so deep into our heart on the other side of what we hold. That we're holding on to it because we're just like, no, it's not enough. I'm going to keep this for lifetimes. Why? Why? What will you get from holding this resentment? You got to ask yourself that question during this full moon. Nothing. You will get pain physically, emotionally, or, or mentally. You will get un, no peace, restlessness. Your soul will feel restless, right? So why not free yourself and free that person? We talk about being of service, helping. That starts here. Right. So ask yourself, is there anyone in your life right now that you have some resentment? Is it starting to ignite a little bit more with the full moon? The full moon is bright. It's going to lighten up on our shadows. So here it's saying, hey, what is the resentment that you need to let go? That all this work you've been doing, all this healing you've been doing in this 12 months cycle. 12 again, right? 12 month cycle. And I say 12 again because Sagittarius is the 12, 12 portal. Right. So the new beginnings, the new gifts we were very cosmic in there. And now it's like, hey, that power you had around Sagittarius, even that that igniteness, that unveiling of the of beyond of the unseen, you have that power to tap into that. So why don't you have that power to tap into the 3D resentment, the resentment your human has? Right. Because when we can do that. One thing and I don't want to say morbid, but it's true. That one thing that we all have in common is this life does end eventually, right? And when we come to the point, and I've been thinking about this more, the more work I do and more medicine work I do is um, the understanding of transition, right? Because we're eternal beings, but we transition. So this cancer full moon is teaching you the lesson of opening your heart to get used to clearing all the resentment, the pain, 
through these moon cycles and through this one specifically. And when you can do that, when the time comes, whether it's a physical ending of you transitioning or someone that you have resentment about where they're going to eventually transition, you are freeing them and yourself to fully transmute to love after this life. Same thing with the career. This is going to probably mind blow you. Just you're going to be like, ding, 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 ding. As soon as I say this, your career, your relationship, um, someone who was traumatic to you um, or victimized you, anything, right? Oh, old boss, anything, a divorce, a relationship, a friend, a stranger. When you allow yourself to take that resentment, feel it and be like, okay, I don't want to hold this anymore. Let's move. What's the lesson here? Can I meet that accepting that I, this is what I resented? Let it go transmute it to with love. When you can transmute it into love, you're allowing them to do the same. You're releasing, you're helping the collective. That's what we're here to do. It's not just me and you, you. It's, it's, a, it's a bigger picture here. So this Cancer full moon is teaching us to meet the deepest unconditional love and ask ourselves, are we willing to take that instead of hold resentment? No matter how much or what that person did or what that thing or that energy or whatever did, right? So this is a very beautiful lifelong lesson that is eternal. And I think if more people were to look at it this way, we could really step into making this world a better place. And I don't want to be cliche, but it's true. The next thing you need to know about this cancer full moon that happens on December 27th, 2023, three days before the day of and three days after is that your third eye is getting upgraded. So we have this in the Sagittarius new moon. We're still getting an upgrade. Again, spirits just trying to like, this is the last chapter. Let's get, let's get this going, right? So with that, it's understanding that you're getting upgrades or receiving deeper understanding. Collective consciousness is continuously coming through even since the new moon in Sagittarius. Remember to ground all the downloads. It's great that you're getting these great astral projections and downloads, and it's a little bit calmer around this time, a little bit, I say. But at the same time, like you also have to keep in mind that you need to ground it. It's great you did all the work, but you gotta ground all that magic. So how can I ground that in my human, okay? And the next thing we're gonna talk about is numerology. I love numerology. I have a whole bunch of videos. There's so many. I actually just like, I haven't done many for a while, but there's so much. There's a playlist if you guys wanna check out angel numbers and numerology. And I wanna go over the numerolo numerological meaning of the Cancer full moon that's happening on December 27th, 2023. So what we did here is we added the numbers. It's the 12 month, we also have two and seven. So one, two, two plus and the seven, and then 2023. 20, so I added each number individually and we added it up to 19. Now I'm going to be sharing the, the number total and also the totals total. It'll make sense. Stay with me. So number 19, when you add that number, it means one and nine, one is new beginnings. Nine is the ending, ending of cycle. You are seeing the click between eternal, eternal journey, right? Again, what did I say? Always focus on the journey, not the destination. This number is telling you that. It's saying that if there is a connection between the two, there is no divide between ending and beginning. When you end a career, it's actually a new beginning. And when you begin a career, it's actually an ending. Do you see what I'm saying? They're attached, they're linked. It's a continuous evolve. When you end a relationship, you're actually beginning a new one with yourself. When you end, it's the same thing. When you end a job, when you end a, 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 you know, anything, it's a beginning, right? So mic drop to that. For the year and together, when we add that together, we get 10. So let's go into only 19 here. 19, we talked about beginning, new beginning. Let's move into the 10 and how it shifts. Full cycle is complete and there's a new chapter awaits. Your destiny awaits for you. And so it is. 10 also means that it's a clarity of prayers for what has been given to you because the full moon's all about releasing. Once you've released what you need to, there's a deep clarity of what you need to know. And it's just gonna be so, mm, so deep that you're gonna, <laughs> like Chico, okay, another word than deep, but it's gonna be full body, like, wow. Okay, I get it now, you know? And 
when you get into that follow, you're going to follow instructions. Spirit might actually specifically give you specific instructions day by day or one day or on the day of this full moon of cancer. So listen to the instructions, journal it and actually do them. <laughs> that part. Don't forget that part. You request it. You requested something. Now, what do you do with the request you asked in these prayers? Follow these instructions as this is allowing your soul to be at peace and embodying the alignment of this new beginning in the building blocks. Okay. So why you are able to receive those prayers and these instructions is because you have now released the resentment. You have tapped into connecting with those who know you the most in this 3d life, which is your ancestors, your family, your bloodline. And when you can do that, you can get so many answers within so many Eureka's I like to say. So again, love wins again, and love will always win. Even when we meet the deepest resentment of our life and the deepest anger or the deepest of any other side of a lower frequency of energy emotion. And I say lower because it is lower, but also there's so much to learn from that lower emotion too, because it teaches us what we do want in our desires every single time. So when we're avoiding an emotion, when we're avoiding a perspective, we're avoiding a perspective of our desire. And we're also avoiding a perspective of an emotion that wants to open up within us like a blossom. So again, love wins again. Okay. Let's get into the cancer full moon. Let me know what is resonating with you. What is tapping in with you? What are you feeling as you receive this guys? Some deep medicine we got here some deep, deep medicine. We're going to pull the wisdom. I might do the ancestral deck, but let's do the um, wisdom Oracle deck. Okay. So let's see what we need for this cancer full moon that's happening on the 27th, 2023 guys. Can we just say you guys got two cards. Hello. So look at this card time to go. It's time to go to the new chapter, y'all. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. I need you guys to focus here so you can see it. We're we're doing the thing. Let me let me put myself here. We're doing the thing. We are doing the thing. It's happening. It's happening. Time to go. Time to go. What this means is time for the new chapter. There's no looking back. Change is upon us. The gate is there. Get on the ship and let's go. Let's, let's take this journey. Let's take this adventure. Stop talking yourself out of it. And why you're, sh you're literally making yourself small, let go of that resentment, let go of that barrier, right? You can't bring the past step into the future. Chop wood. This is a big tree that's going to be chopped during this full moon cancer with the deepest love. And with that, you're going to plant a new seed that is going to flourish even bigger and brighter than the tree before. And going back to the ancestral healing, you are your ancestors biggest prayer, right? The way our ancestors lived, the time they lived was completely different yet. History repeats itself. So each of us gets an opportunity, unfortunately to receive sometimes for decades, the same thing again and again, right? You have a choice to not only free the souls before you, but to free yourself and those after. And the beautiful thing about time to go, it's time to go out of this ancestral pattern and time to move into a new legacy and new energy, new vibration for all those connected. And it ripples with the collective ancestors as well. How beautiful is that? Then we have the chop wood, which means that the old tree that was once holding your ancestors in this frequency now is let go. And now we're stepping into a new frequency. Let's get the ancestral cards. They were talking to me and now they're like, this is why you felt called Chica. Hmm, I don't know. Ancestors, you'd be telling me things. Okay. Let's get two cards. How many cards? Three cards. We have masculine energy. Oh, you are so supported. The masculine is holding you deeply. We got the sun. Enjoy success and happiness. Hello, it's time to enjoy the sun. It's time to enjoy this new adventure. Celebrate yourself. Do me a favor and do a little meditation, light a candle. You can even do it for the meditation. I'll post for you guys after this, but just do a little ceremony with yourself and say, Hey, okay, let me just call in this energy of this new adventure. Let me call it in 
You even have that intention before you do the meditation and pose, okay? Stargazer, set your sights higher. Don't make yourself small. What is the biggest thing that can happen? I want you guys to write it down below in the comments. What is the biggest manifestation or prayer that you are calling in for this lifetime? Set it and so it will be, so it is. Because you gotta, you gotta look at the higher stars. You can't look here. You gotta look beyond. So your ancestors are saying, you didn't come here to play. What is the legacy? Like I said, we're not living life list by list, paycheck to paycheck, family to family, partner to partner, relationship after relationship, evolution after evolution. We are living for the journey that is where it's all connected with the one and nine. There is no difference between ending and beginning. It is simply eternal. So the more we understand that the medicine guardian is be open to healing information. I think I pulled this card recently this month and this card is just saying that open your heart to the healing information that is here right open your heart to the healing that res letting go resentment can give you open your heart to the healing that seeing your ancestors can give you open your heart to the healing that receiving fully this new adventure and not looking back and just it's time to go like the card said where is it it's time to go no looking back look at her she's just like what we got this forget that thank you and next thank you next i have that song in my head i think it's from ariana grande uh, grande <laughs> grande grande okay that is it for the reading i hope you guys really enjoyed it this was fun channeling i always have such a great time connecting dropping in with you guys and it's our last full moon in 2023 together insane right okay let's do a fun one in the comments what is the biggest thing that you've let go this year or you're going to let go for this full moon type it down below and say so it is and um once we see that it's so much that comes through with that so so exciting don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe share it with friends repost it share it to the masses for this high frequency that we have created together and three things one if you haven't applied to the divine dharma training retreat do so it is for souls who are just starting their journey of wanting to become a space holder those who just got that feeling of like where do i start this is the program for you you start with your shadow work you start with your healing you start understanding how to be of service to yourself you start learning the basics of space holding and it's going to be a beautiful beautiful one week retreat in canada so you can apply and i'm looking forward to looking at your applications and lastly last two things we have the medicine retreats there's two in portugal in april and march the activated goddess and the ancestral retreat and then we also have the heaven on earth there might not be spots available but you can always email me and check in as of right now as i'm doing this there's two spots available so if you would like to hold your spot let me know asap via email okay and lastly is the rebirth program the rebirth one-on-one -on -one deep container for space for not just space holders beings of this earth that want to expand and really change their life rebirth within the rebirth for all eternity and beyond in all lives so it's a deep word to say but it's true so if you're interested in that if you're ready and you feel called to work with me one-on-one -on -one, in this deep container i've reopened it i'm having my wait list so go apply down below and i'll reach out to you if it feels like a good fit in the new year okay happy cancer full moon last one of 2023 i wish you the best and i can't wait to see you in the next video i'm gonna be posting a meditation for y'all